Hey there, Becky here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the color of your social icons in the Squarespace 7 website and how to change the color on a hover. Now, before we get started with any of these codes, it's really important to note this tutorial is for older versions of Squarespace built on Squarespace 7, like a Brine template or a Bedford template. If you're using 7.1, the latest version, I have a different tutorial for you because your codes are different. Check the link in the description below for that tutorial. But if you're in Squarespace 7, you're in the right place. Let's hop into my demo site and get started with these codes. So here we are in my demo site and you'll see I have the standard icons and then we have the round and the square and the rounded, all of your options on one page. The codes we're gonna be using will affect all of them and I'll show you how they work. So here's the first part of the code. We have the icon, the mask, and the wrapper. Those are three different elements and I'm gonna show you what each one looks like when we change it. So starting with this first line, I'm just gonna copy that and we'll navigate to design and scroll down to custom CSS. And as always, these codes are listed in the description below, but let's take a look at how they work so you know what you want to change before you just copy and paste them into your own site, okay? So pasting this first code here, I've changed the fill to purple. Check it out. Every single icon on the page, even the standard ones at the very top that were those different colors, all of my icons are now purple. Now if I remove that line, you'll see what they were before. Paste that line and they'll all go to purple. Now we can change this to a hex color code if you want. Any type of color code that you're comfortable using, just adjust that color right after the word fill and before the word important in the code, okay? So what does the mask do? Let's play with this one next. The second line of code is going to change the color around the icon. In the round ones, you'll see that circle has changed color, same for the square and same for the rounded, but also notice for your regular icons, you're now getting a background to those. You might not wanna use that if you're just using those standard icons, okay? Now, last but not least, we also have the icon wrapper. That's specifically for these border types. I'll copy this code and I'll paste it right here and you'll see just those three types that are the border type of icon here in Squarespace. We've now changed the color of that border. And just like we did with this first line, we can change the fill here to uh, yellow if we want to and maybe change the border to uh, green, something ridiculous. There we go. Now, those are some pretty bright and obnoxious looking icons there. Definitely change the color to match the style for your own website, okay? Now I also want to show you how to create a hover effect with these icons. This part's kind of tricky. I've got the code right here. I'm going to copy that and paste it here and let's break this down together. You'll notice the word hover is after the word wrapper for the icon wrapper. The reason being I want the icon to change color when I hover over it. If I move this word hover to be after the icon, it's only going to happen when I'm hovering over the individual icon itself. Do you see that? I have to be right over that F on Facebook or right over that bird on the Twitter icon there. If I actually change the word hover to be after the word wrapper instead, we're gonna get this color change when I'm just hovering over the wrapper, even just remotely close to that icon. So that's a really important thing to notice about hover effects for these icons, okay? Now again, this code is listed in the description below, all four of these. The icon is going to change the individual icon itself. The mask is going to change the color behind the icon. And the icon wrapper is specific for the border icon style there, okay? And then after that, if you want to change the color of the icon on a hover, use that very last code, which applies the hover effect when you get just close enough to the icon to actually select it. Alrighty, all those codes are listed in the description below, so you can copy and paste them in your own site and edit those colors to match your site style. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something awesome, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.